Welcome back to another video everyone. So today's video is going to be a tutorial video. So we are going to be working with Parvita Pajvokonasana. So that is a twisted side angle pose. So it's an internally rotated posture and we'll get into that a little bit later. I want to give you some tips on how to make it a little bit easier to move into that internally rotated position as well as I'm going to give you some uh, levels to work towards. So levels um, I like to move through the, uh, the beginning parts and then we can move up to all the way to a bind. So I'll show you that as well. And using props as we need it. So for this one, you're going to need uh, just one block or something like a book as well you can use. Um, and yeah, so just having that handy. So we're going to start and I'm going to move from side to show you a side angle as well as front angle just because when we're doing an internally rotation, we're twisting so it's kind of a little bit hard to see all the angles. So I'm going to do my best to show you all the different angles that we can do. So from here, we'll start on our hands and knees. So our shoulders are over our wrists, our knees are underneath our hips, and our hands are spread nice and wide. So we're in a tabletop position. And we're going to curl the right toes under as we send back that left leg. So we're going to kick it all the way back nice and long. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, we're pulling it to the chest and stepping it between our hands. Taking as many steps as you need. And we're coming into a little bit of a low lunge here. So I'm curling the back toes so that they're flat and you can bring a block on the inside of the left leg. The block is there for support if you need to bring the floor up to you a little bit more. So from here, we're going to internally rotate this right hip inward. So we're twisting over to the left side. Our hand can stay on our hip, or we can reach our arm up and over. So the option here is you can stay with the block, or you can always come down to the floor. So we're reaching up and over. Big, long stretch. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, bringing your hand all the way down. And then tucking that leg in, sending it all the way back, and then releasing it to the mat. Curling the left toes under, kicking back with the right foot. Big, long stretch here, inhale. Exhale, pulling it into our chest, curling that back as we step this foot forward. So this is where you're gonna see that internal rotation a little bit more on this angle. So I'm curling the back toes, and using the block if you need, we're going to plant the left fingertips down. We're going to allow this left hip to internally rotate inward as we reach up. We can stay here or reach up and over if you'd like. Big inhale here. And then exhale, bringing your hand down, coming off the block. Hands down. And then we're tucking that leg in, sending the leg all the way back. And then releasing. And then allowing your hips to adjust. And then we're going to come all the way up. So I'm going to show you the next level. And this level, I'm going to come onto this side version. So we're going to come all the way up to standing here. So from here, we're going to take a big step forward with the right leg, keeping the block handy. So with this, we're going to come into warrior four. So we're up on our back toes. We're stacking the knee over our ankle, so finding your good position here. Squaring our hips off to the front of the room. Internally put, pulling inward those inner thighs. So finding a good solid ground to work with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our hand on the block. So you can come up as high as you'd like or as low and you can even come all the way to the floor. So from here we're going to internally rotate. So I'm going to come up so you can see we're internally rotating. So what a lot of people do is when we twist, they're twisting the upper body, but they're not allowing this hip to drop down and inward. When we twist just with our upper body, we find it hard to get very far. But as soon as we allow this hip to come down and in and internally rotate it, then we can go a lot deeper. So uh, as we allow that to internally rotate, we can use our block or hand on the mat, and then we can put our hand on our hip, or you can reach the arm up and over. So this is level two. So it's the same thing, except for you're up on your back toes. Coming all the way back up, we can inhale, and then we're gonna step our foot forward. Coming in, we're gonna step this right foot back, coming up onto our high lunge. So finding 
that balance. So if you feel a little unbalanced, just bringing your legs a little bit wider on the mat, pulling those inner thighs towards each other, kicking back through that back heel and stacking the knee over the ankle. So from here, you can do the same thing as you did on the other side. So if you need a block or the floor, you're allowing this hip to internally rotate. And then we're going to lift up and over. So big inhale here, nice and long. And then we'll come all the way back up, finding that strength. And then we're gonna step forward. From here, we'll step back with the left foot. We're gonna come into the next level. So you can use the block. Now we're gonna do it without the block. So we're internally rotating this left hip inward. We're gonna bring our hands to our heart center and we're gonna hook this left arm on the outside of the left foot. So you might find that your balance gets off a little bit, so just look at the floor. And then as you're ready, you're gonna to begin to twist. So you're pulling your heart center to your hands. So this is level three. And then we're gonna go all the way back up. Big inhale here. Bringing your hands down and stepping this left foot in. Stepping the right foot back. Coming back up on your toes, finding your high lunge. So setting yourself up, square it off, kick back through the heel. And then allowing this hip to internally rotate inwards. Hands to heart center as you twist open. Hooking the outside of the right arm on the outside of the left foot. Bringing your hands to heart center as you rotate to the left side. And breathe. Big inhale here. Exhale a little deeper. And then we're gonna do big inhale here. Expand, and then bringing your hands down and stepping forward. Stepping back with your left foot. So this is, so that was level one, two, and three. Now this is level four. So this is if you want to do a bind. So we're gonna still internally rotate this hip. We're gonna hook the arm. And what this is, what I like to do is pull my stomach in, and then find some space, you're pushing the back of the left arm into your leg, and then you're gonna find the space underneath that leg and reach around with your opposite arm. And this is your bind here. Once you find your bind and your balance, then you can look up over your shoulder. And try to breathe. It's a little bit more restricting, that's okay. Releasing the bind, coming all the way back up. Big inhale here, hands to heart center, and we're stepping forward. Stepping back with the right leg. Setting yourself up here, so pulling those inner thighs together, square it off, making sure your joints are stacked, and then you're gonna internally rotate this hip inward as you hook this arm on the outside of that left leg. Now once you pull in that abdominal, find the twist, you're going to reach this right arm underneath that left leg and then reaching your left arm behind you to bind. You can use a strap if you'd like. And then when you find your bind, you're gonna look up over your shoulder and find your focus and your balance. Deep breaths, slow and mindful. Releasing the bind. Inhaling all the way up, try to not lose your balance. Bringing your hands to heart center and stepping all the way back up and shaking it up. And then coming back to your mat. So that is the four different levels that you can do. So some of them are, the first one was on your knees from tabletop and using a block if you need. The second one was up on your back toes. You could still use a block. The third one was where we twisted and hooked our arm and prayer pose. And then the fourth one was the bind. And the bind can be used with a strap if you'd like. 
Um, but yeah, it all depends. Some people love buying, some people do not like buying, so it's all a personal preference. So do what you like to do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the only big tip I would suggest is use the um, use the levels to work through as well as use your props if you need them. Um, some of us have short arms, so using a strap to bind is very helpful or using a block to bring up the floor to us is really needed as well. So don't feel ashamed to use those things. Um, and yeah, and remember to internally rotate that. Try to find the movement into your hip to internally rotate it first and then twist into your upper body, then you're gonna find a lot more space than just twisting in your upper body and keeping this hip straight. So I hope that helps to break down that posture for you a little bit better. And the class that is going to be posted on Friday will be internal rotations. So I hope you will join me for that. Um, and yeah, so that is all for me for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening. Lots of love to you guys all. Namaste.